This is the problem right here. It is the humidity, the moisture that is in the air. Look at our dew point values being so high up here. We're in that miserable to stop it category. It's when it just is the muggiest time of year. Uh, you see at the end, we do trail off a little bit. So we just got to get through the work week before things do look better for the weekend. This is the reason for that. The corn. A lot of it out there, isn't it? When you look at that corn, all that corn is this time of year. It's mature and releasing lots and lots of water into the atmosphere. And that really makes things soupy and humid close to the ground. In the state of Illinois, every acre of corn right now releasing about three to 4,000 gallons of water per acre per day. That comes out with 12 million acres of corn in Illinois this year to 48 billion gallons of water daily being released by that corn into the air. To give you an equivalent of what that is, that's over 72,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water being released into the state of Illinois every single day. And we're surrounded by corn, too. There's a lot of that moisture, and that's why we got to talk about these heat index values here. If it's hot but dry, the air is not humid, your sweat can evaporate, and so that helps you stay cool. But when that humidity is in place, it feels a lot hotter because the sweat on your body doesn't evaporate as easily. And so when we see those heat index values well into the 100s, even 110s, that can be a problem this time of year. Athletes outside, workers outside, things of that would be a, certainly a very hot and challenging week for them. And even for some of us inside as well as so those triple digits stick around. Finally, by Friday, we've got uh, looks like a front coming on through.